This guide will explain everything you need to know to extract game files from RE Engine games. You're going to need Blender 4.32 or newer. Links to everything can be found in the description. We'll start with installing the required add-ons. Download each of the add-ons from GitHub by clicking the download link at the top. Install Blender, then open it. Go to Edit, Preferences, and then Add-ons. In the top right, click the down arrow and choose Install from Disk. Find each downloaded zip file and double-click to install it. Now, open the add-on preferences for RE Asset Library. Click on the Download Asset Libraries button. Then choose the game you want and then click Download. It'll take a minute to install, so I'm going to fast forward to when it's done. After it's done installing, find where your game is installed. If you don't know, right-click the game in Steam, go to Manage, then choose Browse Local Files. I'm going to copy and paste the path so it's easier to get to. Click the Set Extract Paths button. Browse to where the game's exe file is and select it. Game files can take up a lot of space, so you may want to change it to a different folder. Click OK, now you can extract the game files. Now I know the first thing you're going to want to do is drag something in from the asset browser, but you can't do that here. Due to the way this add-on works, you can't import assets into the asset library blend file. You can only import assets from the browser while inside a different blend file. If you want to extract something other than models, use the Extract Game Files button. You can choose the types of files you want to extract, or just extract everything. In this example, I extracted all of the prefab files. Depending on the amount of files and the speed of your hard drive, it may take a while. You can find the extracted files by clicking the Open Extract Folder button. Open up a new blend file. To make this process easier, we're going to set up an assets workspace. To do that, click the plus icon on the bar at the top and choose General, then Layout. I'm going to call the workspace RE Assets. Now click a corner of the 3D view and drag it to create a new window. Change the type to Asset Browser, make any other changes you want, then switch back to the Layout workspace. Go to File, Defaults, and choose Save Startup File. Now whenever you create a new blend file, you can just click on the new workspace to switch to the Asset Browser. To check for updates to a library, open up the Asset Library blend file. You can get there quickly by clicking this icon in the Asset Browser. Click the Check for Library Update button. If an update is available, you will be able to download it. You can update the add-on itself from the preferences using the Check for Update button. Look forward to more tools in the future. Thanks for watching.